Yo, hey Tim, you see from geekblogging.com. First, go to this link that I will leave a link in the description box and click on activate. Here, you either sign in using your Microsoft account or you can easily create a new one. Here, enter your name, email address, address, and phone number. Verify it with a text or a call and click on next. Now, you should enter the informations of your credit card in order to benefit from the free trial. Keep in mind that you won't be charged. So, with this offer, you will get a $200 credit to use in the first 30 days. Click on confirm and wait for the setup of your accounts. So, if you got accepted, it will be redirected to the Microsoft Azure dashboard. If not, just redo the steps in incognito mode when new accounts are a credit card. So if you want to create an RDP, select virtual machines and click on create. In the virtual machine name, choose a name. Select the region. You got a lot of, you got a lot of choices between US and UK, uh, France and a lot of other locations. Choose the OS, operating system. Then select the size by clicking on see all sizes. And you can choose based on CPU, RAM, disk space, and other preferences. Select a username and password. When you finish, click on Create. Wait for the setup of your virtual machine. Once it's done, click on Go to Resources. Copy the public IP address, then head to RDP on your computer and click on Connect. Enter the username and password you have set before. And here we are inside our new RDP. You can see that we have admin permissions and all. Now I will run a speed test. It can achieve up to one and a half gigabytes per second. This is it guys. So all the links used will be in the description box. Click the like button, subscribe with notifications on and share this video with your friends. Peace out.